Welcome to 1-800-CALLJESUS.COM Today's scripture takes us to the heart of mankind's early journey, focusing on Genesis chapter 4 verses 1 through 16, a tale that unfolds the story of the first murder among humanity, driven by jealousy and anger. This passage not only uncovers the depth of human emotions and the complexity of sibling relationships, but also reflects on the essence of divine justice and the significance of personal responsibility. Genesis chapter 4 verses 1 through 16 reads, And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Over time, both brothers presented offerings to the Lord. Abel brought the firstlings of his flock, while Cain offered the fruit of the ground. The Lord favored Abel's offering, but not Cain's, which filled Cain with wrath and led him down a path of irreversible actions. After Cain's heinous act of killing his brother, the Lord inquired, Where is Abel thy brother? Cain's reply, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Reveals his attempt to evade divine accountability. Cain's punishment was severe, cursed to wander the earth. Yet in God's mercy, he was also given a mark of protection to prevent others from claiming his life in vengeance. In this profound narrative, we witness the destructive power of envy and the importance of mastering our emotions to prevent them from leading us astray. Cain's inability to control his jealousy resulted in a tragic loss and a lifelong punishment. However, amidst this dark episode, we see a glimmer of divine mercy and grace. God's decision to protect Cain, even after his wrongdoing, speaks volumes about the concept of justice infused with compassion. Conclusion the story of Cain and Abel teaches us vital lessons about the consequences of our actions, the importance of self-control, and the unending mercy of God, even when we fall short. As we reflect on this passage, let us strive to conquer our negative emotions and seek to live in harmony with others, embracing forgiveness and understanding as our guiding principles. You can read the full scriptures at 1-800-CALL-JESUS.COM. Thank you for your time. Remember, you are loved.